in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Shalom. Greetings to you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, who is God? Jesus Christ has revealed this God to us. The scriptures tell us that Jesus Christ, who is God, has become man to make us God. Through him, we are divinized. Through him, we enter into the eternity. And he has given us eternal life. The picture of God he's, re he's revealing to us in the scriptures and we take this parable of the prodigal son. The prodigal son is a beautiful story. A father had two sons and his younger son he demands his inheritance and father gave him and he takes his inheritance and goes and spends all his money in sin. But there he was in dire need. There he came to his senses and he returned to his father and father was waiting for him. And when his father saw him, he ran and he embraced him, he kissed him. He said, asked his servants, give him the new garments, new shoes, ring, everything and let's celebrate because my this son was lost, now he is found. He was dead, he is risen, he is alive. This is God. In this story and throughout the scriptures, we see first of all, God is creator. God has created the world with love. God is love. And everything he has created is because he has loved this world. Out of love, he created everything. When he created the universe and all living beings, he said, good, it is good. But when he created human being, he said, this is very good. So here we see the goodness of God, the love of God in his creation. God loves us, but what is the man's response? If God's response is love, acceptance, forgiveness, he goes out of his way to love us. And that's why we see in the scriptures that God loved the world so much that he sent his only son in this world so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Jesus Christ is son of God. He became man and this is the love of God and he died for our sins. On the cross, he shed his blood and he rose from, from the dead to give us eternal life. Human beings are not limited on this earth. We have another world, we have another life, eternity. Jesus Christ has come in this world to, to lead us towards that eternity. 
He has come from elsewhere, son of God, God became man. And we have a purpose and meaning in our life. No one can take, out, out, take us out of this circle of death. Man is born, you know, we grow up and then we die. But old and then we die. And this is the continuous circle. Man is con confined in this, in this cell, solitary cell. Who can liberate this man? Only God can liberate. And Jesus Christ has come to liberate this human being, to lead us towards eternal life. This is God, which the Bible reveals to us. This God, he does the, wants the best for us, he loves us, he accepts us, he forgives us, and he wants that we should be with him. Now, if God has loved us, what is man's response? We see in the history of the world, the history of salvation in the Bible, man's response is mostly, always, we we'll say always, running away from God. Man does not accept the love of God. Man does not open his heart for the love of God. And then because he rejects the love of God, he rejects God and that decision, he faces the consequation, consequences. When we reject this love of God, because the God has given us free will. He has not fixed us like computers, no. He has given us free will, whether we accept his love or not. But when we accept his love, then there is peace, there is joy, there is everything, abundant life. But we, when we reject him, it is our own decision, then we are astray and consequences of sin is death. The death is because of human decision. What I would see in the world, people choose. They don't choose life. They don't choose God, but they choose death. In this, the story of prodigal son, he chose death. But when he repented, when he came back, he was surprised to see this immensity of the love of God and how his father embraced him, accepted him. Great celebration. This is God. He celebrates when we come to him. This time of coronavirus pandemic is a time that we look at our lives. What is the purpose and meaning of our life? Because we have gone astray. We have rejected the plan of God. We have rejected his people. We have rejected the creation. A man, because of his selfishness, he is facing these con consequences. Don't blame on God that God has sent this coronavirus. No, God is love. God loves us. It is because of man's decision the death comes. Yes, God is not punishing the world. Glorify God. He loves us. He loved the world. What else? He has sent his son. He himself became, his, through his son, he became man to liberate us. No, if we decide this, if we obey this God, we accept his love, certainly there is life. Look at this prodigal son. He came back and then he was restored to this dignity. He was again his son, though he lost himself. God didn't punish him, punish him. He punished himself. Man is punishing himself when he is refusing, when he is rejecting this God. Like similarly, this prodigal son, he rejected his father. And he wanted for himself. But he, once he came back, everything is restored. 
Similarly, in this pandemic, in this, when people are in agony, suffering because of this coronavirus, people are locked, locked, locked down, because of lockdown, people are at home and they cannot enjoy. Listen, this is the time that God is purifying the world. He is giving us an opportunity to have a greater values. What is the greatest value in your life? We, are, we have been running for other things which, are, which were useless. What is the most important thing in your life? What is the use of if man gains the whole world and loses his soul, loses his life? Yes, we have to give importance. We have to give value to those things which God wants us. Now this prodigal son, he came back. He realized that these things are not valuable, only the love, the life which God has for us. So he came back and he was fully, fully, fully accepted. Maybe this time when man is powerless, medicine has failed, science has failed, doctors have failed, worldly power has failed, world superpowers have failed. No one can save us. Why not, like this prodigal son, come back, feel this God is my father. Come back to him and he will destroy us. He will give, give, give us healing. We will be totally dignified again, accepted. When God accepts us, when he restores us, he gives us everything in abundance. The great things which we need, only God can give. So this time, let, let's come back to him. When Jesus Christ started preaching, he said, repent, the kingdom of God has come. This is what people are not doing. They are not repenting. Their hearts are closed. Yes, our churches are closed, okay. But your heart should not be closed. Look at Judas. His heart was so close. Judas has cleared. He was living with Jesus like the other apostles. Jesus, he was looking at that. He, Jesus taught him also. Jesus performed many miracles. He saw those miracles. The Last Supper, he even, Jesus even washed his feet. Till the last moment, he closed his heart, didn't open. That's why he betrayed his master. That's human response. Jesus is still master. He would have taught him the lesson. No, but God gives us freedom, free will to choose. Okay? He didn't repent, but the others, they ran away, all the disciples. Even Peter denied him, but Peter repented. Other disciples, they also came back. Look, once we repent, everything is restored. Everything to the fullness, to the fullness of life which God has for us. Let us come back to this God who can give us life, who is our Father, who loves us, who always loves us, who always forgives us, who always abundant, gives us abundant life through his Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Yes, he has come to save you and me, all of us. And for higher things, look for higher things. What are the greatest values in your life? So my dear friends, let us not grumble against God. Let us not be murmuring against God like people in Israelites. No, praise and thank God for the gift of life. Praise and thank God for his love and accept his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross. Your response should be generous response to God. Like the apostles, when they responded, how oh, generous. Like the saints, how oh, they responded to God for his love. Today's world, if you want this happiness, this joy, if you want to be saved, yes, come back. Return, come back to the Lord, give your life to him.
repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Master. Invite him in, in your heart and he will fill you with his peace, with his Holy Spirit and you will be filled with his love and you will not be lost. No, not only from this world but eternity. You will be with God forever and ever and ever. And when we accept this love of God, then everything, the new perspective, we have new outlook, the new creation, new eyes God gives us, new ears God gives us, these eyes, new heart he gives us. He says, I will take the heart of stone from you and give you the heart of flesh. Yes, new heart, which loves God and his people. You know, this prodigal son, his elder brother, he did not accept his brother. Though he was with his father, yet he was not with his father. He didn't love his father and he didn't love his brother. But once we repent, we, are, we receive the love of God and with new heart, we started loving God and loving his people. Loving God is not enough. We have to love God's people. That's the new life we have to start in during this coronavirus. Come out of your selfishness. Come out of your own zones. Reach out, first of all, to God and to his people. God bless you all.